we can step up here. Always exciting when Brokey's popping off and we're heading to Nuke, the third and final map here. We'll see G2 start on the CT side and phase. They're well cut out for them on the terrorist forces here. Interested to see what kind of buy they'll have. We're seeing the pistols evolve day by day on the T side here of Nuke. And we've got two smokes, a Molotov and no HE. So no fast door approach here, but maybe towards outside with the two smokes. Time will tell. And here come the first deployment of them. So Colts are lining up the smoke there. That's intended to go all the way towards the window position, just the bottom of where Kenny currently holds. Exactly. Thank you, Rush. So that's what Cold's holding on to for now. Third one across from the light fitting and actually flying through towards the door position. This will enable the drop, the quick drop. Molotov on hut. Olaf's going for it. Nexus Bam will find nothing, but that wasn't the bomb. Worth noting, they've got a player down. He's making noise. They're still keeping the bomb in their players' top side. They plan to hit, and a great shot while blind. Amanek finds the first. G2 certainly up for this one. The first two kills will be theirs, and there's no way this bomb is going to get planted now. Three versus one. Nico will need a very quick kill here. Nexus needs to stay alive. His teammates are rotating in from lobby. Kenny S, though, just making sure he stays alive here. Shoots a hole in the door. Nico has been spotted. 50 seconds remaining here. Needs the least to get a headshot, but being overwhelmed. His days are certainly numbered. It's a very big pistol for G2. Three players survive. Nexo with three kills, continuing that good form we saw on Mirage. No bomb planted means we should have the eco here for phase. Nexo really didn't have much problem here at all, but it was all off my to get it down towards events. A bit of a fake, as it were, but no one took the bait at all, Chad. Yeah, it was uh, a tricky pistol from FaZe Clan, but not tricky enough. So moving forward, they will do exactly as you mentioned, Henry, take the eco. Now, let's see if G2 want to take the fight to FaZe or if they want to sit back and wait for FaZe to delay this round. So we don't even have a flash to work with. Quite a few trundling up towards the silo position. That will be heard range drop onto main. But this should be a very clean sweep here from that of G2. I would just look to uh, avoid letting the bomb go down. You don't want to give them the extra 800 if you can avoid it. Yeah, and if you're FaZe Clan, avoid Amanek because you don't want to be giving him 900 a pop on this auto shotgun. Couldn't be better candidates for it. They're unarmored, Glocks, and he's the one that will likely go for the early aggression, especially because that shotgun. And it's the M4 that's causing problems for them. This could be all of them. Jax takes three. Here comes the flank. Here comes the 900 bucks. <laughs> Always a lot of fun, Amanek. You know, I'm not going to give you a yellow card for that one because it was a lot of fun, but uh, no shooting the body. Can you imagine please. referees going, yeah. you know, look, mate, okay, I know the headbutt <laughs> should be a red, but it was a very it, funny one. It headbutt. was entertaining. <laughs> I'll say that much. Uh, but here's Jax getting it done here with the M4. It did go down in the end, but already farmed $900. Speaking of which, Amanek did the same there with the shotgun. Auto shoddy we brought out once again with the AKs as well. Five of them. And we'll see FaZe Clan try and post their first round here, if possible. They have got the basic grenades as well. A lack of Molotovs, only a couple of those, but all of my staff taking his efforts towards a ramp. He knows he has the one bullet advantage, but certainly doesn't have vision. That's been removed by virtue of the smoke here. Focusing their efforts towards ramp. Jack's looking to back them up. And next, we see him here a lot. Mm, he loves this position. It usually enables you to find a free frag because as you swing into main, your attention will have to be towards the potential CT presence there. Amanek catching just a stray bullet from Cold Zera's spray, but Nico's slowly working the yard position. This is the fight we're wondering Ooh. about. Well, Nico's made noise. So that will be heard from some players towards the top side here, but he doesn't even have to encroach on that position of Nexa, fortunately for him. Still waiting around, a minute left on the clock. Lots of time to work with as they can set up smokes now, and that's exactly what it looks like they're going to do. If we see the L-frame smokes come out, I think this will be dealt with. This will just be the standard wall of secret smokes. Will they use it? If so, Kenny is lying in wait with an MP9. Couldn't be a, a more perfect weapon for Ooh. the job. Even at range, he's used it. That's all the bullets connecting there. Nico will pull one back, but still a four versus four. Only 40 seconds remaining as well. Yeah, nice shot. You can hear them complimenting each other, I'm sure. Am I right, Green? Is that what they're saying? NS. I'm going to press a lot of buttons there. Yes, NS, LOL from uh, LOL. Rain, uh, I haven't heard one LOL. of those for a while. That's a Old hard school. LOL. Yeah. Laughing out loud. Lots of love. You be the judge, as we'll get into another tight situation, but only 20 seconds remaining. Brokey, he'll be towards the hut, and next, so we said he's good in this spot, and this could be a prime time to swing. That's the bomb, and he's locked it down. Yeah, it's perfect. Advantage G2, Folly, 10 seconds, and the frags, they'll just do their natural resting place. We do see an upgrade as well. Going to be two AKs recovered. Looks like just the one, actually, Hunter, keeping hold of that. But G2, it could not be any more of a dreamy start. You've shut down the first buy. 
sends FaZe back down into the doldrums, and you're rocking it with pretty much all of your players still alive. Four left standing. Amanek, he's still on the shotgun. He keeps dropping rifles for his teammates. That's the second M4 he's pumped out for his squad. And yeah, you said every bullet must have hit because of the sound, right? You just sure. said, dink, dink, dink. No, it's always a good feeling when you get the, the medium range headshots like that, the MP9. Oh. It shouldn't happen, but that is a deadly weapon in the right hands. Outside smoke's deployed once again. It's going to be Tech Nines and Deagles trying Great to make their way nice. down towards Lower. There's a lot of damage on that grenade. Nico trying to scramble over towards Secret. They'll be able to get one player down, but the incendiary will segregate them, the smoke even more so. So down towards Secret they go, but. I don't know, with one smoke and a Molotov, I'm not sure they'll do a whole lot with this. Nico's looking at him and like, yeah. why are we running? What's 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 the rush, boys? <laughs> well, the smoke was about to clear, boss. Oh, okay. So, they've got a Molotov at the steps, but the crossfire just looks too powerful. I don't seem to get any past the vent spot here, but let's see if I'm proven wrong. Yeah, Jack has spotted all of them. So set up for it. Hunter dinks though, and will be finished off. Nice work from Rain. Jax has been forced to retreat. If they could get a bomb plant going, which is what Cold Zera's mission will be, he's actually pushing up and giving the bomb to Jax. Well, that's the round, unfortunately. The bomb going down a window, that's certainly not going to be planted. But maybe there's a chance for a couple of kills oh. here. The shotgun is removed, and unfortunately, Brokey and Rain both on 39 health. Probably doesn't go much further. But we'll see if they can get a kill with the shotgun. That'd be $900. Certainly welcome to this juncture. Yeah, I was wondering if Jax would get out of there. With such low HP, he doesn't need to be a victim. Can't plant there. Faze trying to pull out anything they can. Silent dismount, that's step one. And it's enough for Kenny to start thinking topside's a possibility. If that bomb disappears, and so do they, 20 seconds. Oh, never mind. Spotted and Rain joins Brokey now in the low HP club. And we have its usual ending. It's going to be three for Jax at the end of that one. He managed to survive to enough to find his third. 4-0, G2. It's a perfect CT start. Yeah, it's a good start here, but they need to uh, continue with these clean rounds if they want to build a flourishing economy right here. It's still in the very early stages. So FaZe, with just one round on the board, should be able to destabilize what's been thrown on in from G2. No AWP in play right now for that of FaZe, so they'll just be with the five AK-47s. Kenny has his big green out. So, outside smoke's deployed once again. This time Hunter looking to get up close and personal. Can he find that 5-0 scoreline? He has been detected by Nico, but a quick trade will be found. That's gonna be a kill for the likes of FaZe. Down to a three on three, and Jax, he completely dismantles Whoa. their approach here. Bomb goes down towards the hut. Amanek with a great position here, as they have to peel off. Oh, I don't think they know how many's in this smoke right here. Amanek, you wouldn't be getting this up close and personal if you knew the situation on the other side. And that's why Broki was in the far corner. He's actually jumped away. Suddenly a 2v2 feeling very winnable. Absolutely. Well, and he could go down towards the vent here. And they're oh, trying oh, to... Kenny broke it for him with the orb. <laughs> did he really? No <laughs> joke. I think he did. That's insane. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Olaf goes down. Broki's got to find the bomb. It's down on the site. There's a full minute to play with here, and Jax has got the information. Door was left open. He can opt for decon. Brokey's making a lot of noise. Jax can position himself accordingly. Well, he did say Brokey, known for his clutches here. This will be the first round on the board for FaZe if he can find it. He's got plenty of time to confuse Jax. Play with his head. And the bomb's still down towards lower. Jax will just be confirming the back vents are clear, but now leaving the safety of his position, he's lost track of Brokey. Spots him. Oh dear, Jax certainly didn't see him in response. So, advance is broken now. Fake. And frag. Perfect, Perfect play from Brokey. Another clutch added to the list. And I'm running out of fingers to count them. Yeah, I might even go look at his season and clutch stats up until this point because uh, Brokey, he just seems to be pulling them out of his back pocket every single day of the week. The youngster, when he first joined the team, we heard from the phase count. We heard, you know, he, he's good. He's good. Here we go. Oh, yeah. he did get shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, it was a teammate? No, no it was, it was Kenny. definitely Kenny. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's wild. Olaf's so lucky to have even made it down the vent. Well, what's the money looking like, chaps? You've got Amanek with the FAMAS, but he's got plenty of money for utility and armor. Or for Kenny S, so they've got one more buy here, but it will be the tactical timeout for FaZe. They used all four of them on the previous map, which led them to a 16-10 defeat. Third and final map. Lower bracket final here. Looking to play Astralis tomorrow. G2 up 4-1. to one. On their CT side, just lost to Brokey there. 
in a one versus two scenario. We're going to have to see Olaf Meister down to the Gilel. And we are back into it now. So we saw a bit of aggression from the previous round of G2 as Hunter trying to find that first pick, but Nico certainly aware of that prospect. And this is a big round now. FaZe can ruin the money of the CTs. They can pick this one up. Yeah, Nico's just in intuition had him cast his eyes back after he jumped across from Silo to the main roof. Two of them pushing lobby. We see this very often now. They, they partner up with a rifler, set the AWPer up for this frag. And more often than not, it works. But the jiggle from Cold Drew, the shot, Kenny's trying to bait the retreat and leave Jax in a very, very aggressive position. Brokey, if he doesn't check his corners, he'll be met by a very precise Frenchman. But it does look like he's being pretty damn thorough and a trade. Both bullets find the head. AK just a little better off, and no way. Kenny didn't even hit that shot. It was so close to the toes. Rain finds it now, and five versus three. Brokey will go down. He needs another, but Rain's too quick now. That was their only chance there. It was worth going for one next out of control of the window run, but he needed two kills. And they have got two down towards lower, so they might be considering their options, but to me, it looks like I have to save the M4. Fountain has to back him up, but I don't think it'll be possible. Nico has locked them out. Olaf Meister will have vision towards secret momentarily. They have snuck by, but as soon as they're detected, not much of a chance of them surviving here. It's all down to Nico to find these kills. Oh, he's looked away at the worst time here. This could be his undoing. They might get away with this. Oh, they haven't even oh cleared my him. Oh, God. <laughs> they're going to kill him in the back, and he's... Oh, his position. It's so peculiar. Oh. But it looks like the CTs will have just traded <laughs> places with Nico. It's a proper... Old-fashioned scenario. Oh. So, uh, SEO, he beat me to it. He went and uh, looked at the stat lines right now in terms of Brokey and Clutch on the road to Rio. Before uh, the two that we've had in, the, in today's series so far, he was on 14. So he's up to 16 now. 16 Clutches. Yeah, and uh, he's had that, that one-on-three situation at the end of Dust 2 and uh, the Clutch that we just saw there. But I was just having a little bit of a look. He's won a bunch of one-on-ones. He's won two one-on-twos. He's won two one-on-threes. He's won a one-on-four as well. He's uh, first in the event right now. He's overtaken Lecro. Yeah, who's got 15 clutches. So uh, certainly pulling his weight in that department. That's for sure. Eco for G2 now as FaZe will hunt for their third round. It's looking very good for them. Only up against the two safe rifles, one of which is the FAMAS. Nico down towards Secret already. You can see Hunter has no vision from the window beneath heaven at all. Looking very good for a 4-3. Hunter might be able to sabotage their efforts. But it's going to come down to timing, whether he can get a quick kill and survive. Plenty of players in front of him right now as they make their way towards main. Oh, he spots one on main roof and he won't get the frag. That should be him. That was their chance. Nex has tried to manufacture a second. And with good USP damage, he unfortunately didn't quite land the dink. Now, look at FaZe. They're so willing to just wait. Like, they know the fights will come their way. Nex is perfectly hiding. <laughs> Tickled by the flames. Maybe he's watching a lot of Tony Robinson. Learning to run across some coals. At this point, just the P2000, the USP, and that for Mass Amalek with the CT vent position. Going to go towards heaven eventually. Still feel like FaZe will close this one out in a few seconds. Wants to kill Nexa, though. There's That's the bomb the down. Kill, oh, no, the but actually down. doesn't go in favor of FaZe. Oh my goodness, if Nexa doesn't die now, it gets awkward. Unfortunately for the FaZe camp, they've found most, but oh, okay. Ten Olaf seconds. does check his corners. Really? That's the plan. That bomb needs to be planted, and Amonek's still on the top side. If he kills them before they drop, they have to drop safely. Oh God, God damn, FaZe. That got so uncomfortable. If he, uh, if Nico had slipped off the edge, if yeah. he didn't drop safely, if Amanek hit one bullet, that <laughs> round was lost. That was uh, that was almost as bad as the Kenny not defusing the bomb on Dust too. It was up there. That uh, that could have been something absolutely wild right there, but no, it's okay. Phase, they hold on. They put round three on the board. They get the buy back out, and well, here we go. We're getting into the meat and potatoes. Here we go. Full buy on both sides of the equation here. No war for the CTs, they're still feeling it. Decoys being brought out just to make the numbers up. Amanek looking for that rush. Incendiary down just above the heart right now. Olaf Meister looking to flush him out if possible. In terms of their smoke, still with five and all of their utility, to be honest with you, on the T side here. Boosting one player up. 
I'll be hunt up. Just allowing them to get some stronger positions towards up. That broke you with the orb outside. And the smoke's deployed now. Has a quick look. And just walking across the sideline. They know there must be ACT looking for this info. It's Kenny. But timing his jiggles well is yet to be spotted. Calls it clear again. Checks again, calls it clear, but two have crossed. Knows warehouse is certainly a possibility. There's the bomb. It's loose for now and by the yard position. Good catch. Kenny needs to get the hell out of there and his utility is designed to try and get out of dodge. He spots broke. He could get two here. Missing his shots. Jax doesn't. 5v3. Yeah, looking much better for G2 now. This is a weak buy for them. They've got no grenades, but they certainly got plenty of bullets remaining. Jax will do significant damage towards Gold Zera. Hunter, Penoso Kill is his, and now just the aforementioned Brazilian wasting towards main entrance, and nothing he can do. Hunter will find him. 5-3 after losing three in a row. It's G2 coming back to life here. Four players surviving as well. Jax, 266 damage in the round. A lot of chatter going on there. What's Can, happening? Yeah, Green, give us an update. Uh, broke his TS has crashed. Oh. This seems to be a very common occurrence of yeah, broke his TS. Yeah, it does happen a lot. I saw them talking about it. Apparently, it's ever since the newest update, a lot of uh, a lot of people have been connected, disconnected about t two or three times a game. With TeamSpeak? Yeah. Right, who updates their bloody TeamSpeak? Uh, well, I saw Henry do it. Um, I haven't updated my TeamSpeak in years. It made me very uncomfortable. First thing he did, he opens up TeamSpeak. He's like, oh. He says yes. He's like, yes, please. Okay. You yeah. make it sound like I'm doing something wrong. That's well, what you're supposed to do, update programs. I stay away from the updates. They always it scare me. It doesn't mean you're right. If it ain't broke. <laughs> I never know what's on the other side. <laughs> if it ain't broke, you don't have to fix it. That's the, that's the approach I've always had with WinRA. I don't think I'm fixing it. I'm updating it. <laughs> No all the new features. Henry wants all the new features. Yeah, he's got uh, Overwolf installed. He's getting all those well, sick new icons. To be fair, we only use TeamSpeak anyway because of me. We would be using Discord otherwise. Well, that is a very I, touchy uh, subject. Uh, oh. no, uh, t talking of touchy, next uh, looks like he might have caught the uh, slashy slash. pointy end of one of his teammates' knives. God flash. They're going straight in towards top side, or at least trying to make it look like that's a possibility. Instead, bouncing straight past Jax, all three of them. Uh -oh. Uh oh, contacting the smoke. There was going to be a trade quick, and now he does manage to find one. Nexa onto another. If they can get this bomb down, a 3v4 ain't so bad, but Nexa's is still there. He anticipates Olaf. The nade looks very promising. Two of them to contest, and Olaf he catches a glimpse of one of them. If he puts the smoke down, he can play around it. That's exactly what he plans to do. Two CTs on the other end. He can hear pins pulled, but. A numbers advantage still exists for G2. Sue comes out on top here. It is going to be phase with the bomb planted. Three players and a decent crossfire as well. This is a very important frag. Broke will deploy the flashbang to try and set up Cold Zera. It's actually worked out for a couple of kills here. Amanek trying to pull one back, but he's running out of time here. The bomb is more than half gone. It's down to just Olaf Meister. He's got the MAC-10. Can he deny oh. the defuse here? It's a 10 second one. It will have to be the Glock. It doesn't look good. Does he find it? I'm not sure. This stage, he's going to be the MAC-10 with five bullets oh. remaining. He wins by the fact they don't have a defuse key. He didn't necessarily deny it, but it works <laughs> out for him. Bloody hell. This is a, a classic. <laughs> Fiesta at times, and then the most glorious display of skill at others. Uh, that, was, uh, that was fun. There was a kit somewhere. I swear I saw the blue outline at some point in that round on the ground. So let's keep this, keep an eye out for a kit during the replays. But Amanek, I thought he'd done enough. He gets on it, but no kit. And a 10-second defuse Olaf. He's just so fortunate. He wasn't hitting any oh. of those bullets. The last crosshair was on it. He survives, of course. Not 10 HP to spare. Kenny's so blind. Oh dear, there's a top rush and Brokey of all players finds the first. Even sending the AWP out the door, Hank. Yeah, should be absolutely <laughs> fine. I say that. It's a lovely shot of the Desert Eagle, but all Kenny is worth at this stage. Significant damage inflicted. Four versus three found, but the bomb not planted yet. Jax will have a chance to cause a bit of chaos here if he can swing up at the right time. He's chosen right now. All next to him is left. He might be able to get a quick shot here. There it is. Brokey gets dropped with the trade. That will be found. Two players towards outside, both with pistols. The hype will subside as they go towards T spawn, looking for exits. Yeah, phase change of pace after that victory came all the way down to that one versus one. But the advantage phase is all the same. Victory in their column and making that what was three into five over the course of the last two rounds. Do you know the difference between rows and columns? Uh, a row is horizontal and a column is vertical is it i don't know i was asking yeah you. i think so i mean i did I, I had 
a couple of lessons with spreadsheets back in the day. Okay. There were rows and columns involved there. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm not, I, that kind of stuff, my brain's no good at absorbing. It doesn't really take it all in. I just know that that's what they're called. It's like the type of clouds. I know a bunch of different cloud names. I just don't know which ones are which. I thought, were clouds banned as well for a yellow card? Was that something? No, clowns were banned oh, because clowns. Jason doesn't like them. That's a good point. That's, we don't know I clowns forgot, I forgot on the about broadcast. clowns. Yeah, and I'm the one that's scared of clouds. 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 Right, well, here we go. Round number 11, a decent haul from FaZe found. And they're up against another buy here after finding two in a row. Very closely contested game. It looks to be another upper approach here. Flashbangs delivered. Amaneko, three Bs to be found. He's not flashed at all. Coldzera pulls on back. It's been dinked in the process. Nico down to 14. How do they get any further than the hut right now? They're going to put the brakes on. Four versus three. Yeah, and they come out to Amanek and nobody's home. He's repositioned nicely. And wow, great shot from Nico. Perhaps FaZe can still contribute in this one. Smoke, it will fade and reveal Kenny's position. But a second does take its place. And Jax, he tried to flank from heaven. Now the bomb can go down. Kenny and Nexa. They don't have much at all. An incendiary, a flashbang, an AWP on this retake. A kit for Nexa and a kill from Kenny S. Might give them a window opportunity here. The AWP still towards main entrance makes things very difficult. Nexa with no real utility apart from that flashbang. That's oh a great God. shot. Nico is stud. He's had 14 HP for all of those kills. Yep, absolutely. And now still a chance for Nexa. They're so low. He just needs one more. Trying to find the timing. And Nico does it all with the low HP. Every step of the way, it looked like FaZe had faltered, but Nico does not. Four kills in round 11. Saving the day. They lost the first two casualties there. I thought Amanek surely had done enough. Yeah, and it was even clunky movement coming out of the hut from the two entry fraggers there. We saw it on the x-ray that they blocked each other, so they were slightly delayed coming out of the door. And that set up two easy kills. But then Nico was just pinpoint precise here. Once this man is set up holding an angle, his reaction speed, his TTK, I think you guys call it, is absolutely bonkers. That's TTK. Green, what does TTK mean? I believe that's uh, time to kill. Did you come up with that term? Uh, I believe I did invent that term. Look at that time to kill on Kenny. Very oh, low. my goodness. Is Very low one? TTK on the CZ75, that's for sure. And it's got him an AK-47. That casualty, remember it. Because if Kenny starts filling the feed with that Kalashnikov... We'll be down to Nico. He had such impact on the last round, but he's gone down first. It's the best scalp to be taking at this stage of the game. Bear in mind, barely a pass by the G2 here. Desert Eagles, CZs, two sets of Kevlar, and they've got that first kill and found the AK-47 here. Can they get the second? Apparently not. Rain will discover a few of them towards Secret. Nice Molotov on both sides of the equation. They'll actually get the kill here. I didn't oh. think they stood a chance, and Olaf Meister, he'll be found in the back. This round is falling on its ass for FaZe here. It's FaZe's kryptonite, isn't it? Losing to the pistols, yeah, they do it so often. It's happened again. I don't know if they, they're aware of what buys they're up against half the time, because some of some of the pace changes that they have or some of the rounds that they go for and then they lose kills, you can see that they're just kind of always treating it like it is a gun round. And against the pistols is when we see a lot more risks. So G2, they're looking good to win this. They certainly are, but the bomb's down for FaZe, and this is the retake, and well, they win their duels. Nexa and Jax in perfect synchronization, that's the word. There Synchricity? We go. Well, that was what I was going to try. Is that a real was, word? It is. Synchronicity. Synchronicity is certainly a Synchronicity. word. Synchronicity. Yeah. It's like last night I couldn't say, I didn't want to say uh, linearly on air because I hadn't linearly. actually, I hadn't said it out loud in a long time. And I thought, oh, I'm going to stuff this yeah, up. Yeah, you could just use linear and just make a longer sentence, I guess, if you're, you're worried about it. Sometimes that's I do what that. We, that's if what I, we tend to do. If I realize in my brain, that's going to be a really awkward one to say in a fast manner. And you hear, you hear you go suddenly, oh, in a, in a linear fashion. Exactly. <laughs> that's, a, that's a top tip for aspiring <laughs> casters out there. Don't don't fumble over the word if you're not going to nail Just it. make Just the sentence change, longer. Change the said sentence, it's going to be fine. And uh, we'll get into an eco for FaZe here. Looking likely the G2 will take the lead, 7-6. to six. They've got the AK-47s out. Four of them. Don't even need the AWP at this point. As they bring this half back to life. They were 4-0 up, then lost six rounds after a great pistol campaign. But for now, Hunter. They'll find that first, looking to take the lead here, and this great grenade as well, off down to 43. If uh, G2 win this round, they'll have more CT rounds than last time these two teams went toe-to-toe -to -toe on Nuke, which was, as we were highlighting earlier, ESL Pro League Season 11. It was the map choice of FaZe, the first map in the best of three, and it was a 16-14 victory to G2 Esports with 10 rounds on their T side. So seven on the CT means they're trending better than last time round. And FaZe, unfortunately, well, I said Olaf, he had to be a contributing factor. He's sitting down the bottom right now, 30 ADR, two kills to his name. 
needs to wake on up. Yeah, he's had a couple of awkward deaths as well, getting caught by Kenny on that uh, Nexer and Kenny retake. Nico bailed them out of it, but yeah, getting caught by that AWP, leaving his master plant position. 40 seconds gathered at ramp, the perfect timing for a uh, incendiary to bloom. And they've even got two rifles positioned. They know exactly what's going on here. So, no oh, well, armor uh, and Jax. A little bit awkward on the timings, but they make up for it here. He'll get himself a couple of those delicious eco frags. Clean sweep for G2. Another very close half. FaZe have done enough on the T side, but they'd like to take one more if possible. Here's Kenny S and Jax getting it done. Nothing really to report here. No frags found on the base side. And there we have it. It will be G2 to take the lead here. And this nuke is now really warming up. Both teams showing up here. FaZe. Probably coming to the end of their strap book. Have we seen the L frame smokes once from them this game? Not, I don't think not so. Once. Oh, very narrow angle, but it works for Kenny and Nexa as they take those tools outside. And oh, wow. That's the frag they were looking for. Another crossfire established and paying off for G2. They can't get too ahead of themselves here, though. There's a lot of territory that's been taken from Rain. And he can hit some big shots. So there's one. We're in a two on three situation now. Very winnable. I think so. Chad, you might be onto something here. Rain will get yet another frag. He does get dinked in the process, down to nine. Certainly doesn't help their efforts, but he is alive for now. Kenny S pushing it towards a trophy room. He's got the AK and doesn't show any signs of slowing down. Bomb available for phase. And now apparently a kill as well. Kenny S found alone. Wow. Two versus four. And it completely and totally under control. So Olaf's gone and got the bomb in the meantime as his teammate does fall. Amanek assuming, hedging his bets towards the lower site. Olaf played this well. He's opting for heaven. Should be able to get that bomb down and the dream after plant. Amanek will have to opt for the long rotation through ramp or even vents. Yeah, this is a nightmare now. That's has given up his spot. The fact he's opened that door. Olaf knows exactly where he is. If he smokes the vent now, that'll be genius play. But he knows he can come from secret as well, which he has. Oh, it's a great smoke. He's pulled himself he another one as well. More. He's got an incendiary where that came from as well. He's heard him go towards heaven. He can even smoke that. It's an incendiary. Does it go down the ladder? Oh, no, it's beautiful. And he's burning down to 11. One more bullet is all Olaf he's needs. And Amanek's so loud throughout all of this. Olaf's ears <laughs> saving the day, and Amanek's had enough. <laughs> Tries Respect. to deny it. Respect to Amanek as he plummets and craters for the seventh. You have bested me, sir. And down he goes. It was a great play from Olaf Meister. Falls on his sword. Are they, are they asking if that's intentional, Rush, in, in the chitter chatter, or are they just laughing? <laughs> Olaf Meister has some cool little emoji, and it says gotcha. And okay. they're, hunters, they're all laughing. They're okay. all having a they're good having time. They're having a good time. As long as they're having fun, that's all that really matters here. Going into the final round of the first half of the third map. Of day 20... Uh, one? Two? Two? 21? One. Day 21. I think. We're still... Our minds are still here somewhat. I don't know. They're not. They're not. Our <laughs> mind, we, <laughs> we've lost our minds. <laughs> well, Olaf has lost his life. Unfortunately for him, Hunter finds him trying to get down towards the vents. Opening pick found and Galil's to recover. Fast pace here from FaZe, but they'll be slowed right down. That incendiary has been perfectly deployed, and I'm going to have to wait. As you can see, they don't really have anything to say about this. He needed that smoke for lower. Next is already in position, throws a flashbang. Looking for the big spray down here, but he gets a lot more than he bargained for. Wow, fantastic shots from Rain. He's starting to heat up, but no better time than the present. Into the lower site, Brokey. He knows there's going to be something on the other end of this door. Opting for a more passive approach. He'll be swinging the door open in perfect sync with his teammates. And now Jax has to worry about both of those angles. Now avenues of assault trade from Rain again. Kenny's holding the perfect line. But now with the smoke deployed, oh, he's going to have such a narrow window if he wants to hit that shot. Are they thinking about going back towards Zappa? They don't have control of the back walls right now, and they've lost Rain. Influential in their success so far. Two kills in this round, and Hunter with a perfect backside. Oh, That's nice a kill. Him. Hunter. Oh. <laughs> that would have been a good call, but not meant to be. An opponent, G2 or FaZe Clan, one half to decide it. I've got Chad, Henry, and myself, Machine, hanging out, chillaxing in the back of a Camino. CGG.bet believe FaZe have the edge. And FaZe will be defending now on the CT side. It will be the G2 boys looking to make a dent here as they switch over to the terrorist forces. Smoke down just by the warehouse position as they look towards 
main entrance. Got Broke defending with the USP. Spots a couple. And they're going to commit down towards lower. Nico didn't see it coming. Nice spot, but detected by Jax. Back towards the ladder base. Three of them in yard, two heading towards heaven. That is the plan. The CTs have already rated, rotated two down lower with that casualty on Nico. So brokey has got a lot to deal with here. Ponzera's found a frag elsewhere. This kill for Brokey doesn't work out. Kenny using that clock to great oh. effect. And damn, G2 looking poised to collect the ninth. Yeah, there's no way that FaZe Clan can get back into this one. The kid in the smoke, well, that's an option. But Olaf, only four kills to his name. And, well, some of those came in that 1v1 uh, one he had with Amanek. Kenny grabs another. It's just rain now, 2 HP. He doesn't even have a hope or a prayer in this round. No, absolutely not. 2 HP, you'll just be head towards secrets and look for any exit frags possible. There's actually a smoke landing in his front door here, just to make matters worse. Oh. <laughs> just you to know, make sure that he gets could have probably killed Stay him. there. Yeah, could that's have a good point. skimmed and hit him. <laughs> Don't move. Just some notes here. The opening duels right now for G2, they're dominating so far in this game. They were 12 to 4. FaZe not having uh, too much success in finding openings here. That might change now that they're on the CT side. A little bit easier to get the opening frags when the T's are coming your way. The multi-kills are uh, pretty close. 13 to G2, 11 for FaZe Clan. And the scoreline, obviously, well, as close as we could possibly be at this juncture of the game. Over on the B stream. Ooh. Getting close over there, boys. North are pushing it with the coach. Yeah. This is insane. How is Jumpy getting on? 14 kills. Not he's bad. actually the same level as Gate. So uh, certainly can't be blamed as he continues to impress there. Great game that's going on in the B stream right now. This is the lower bracket final, though, here in the European division. Currently on the third map, 9 7. Still a lot of rounds to be played here. Phase will force by. As they bring out the Deagles, PT 50s, the MP9. Brokey will be saving for the AWP. They've got full lobby control here. Okay, so you run in lobby, you see in no one's home, and Nico drops the smoke in response. That could not be any more perfect. Phase by a lot of time, 15 seconds, just gonna be shaved off of whatever the intention was, and there's another 15 in the hands of Cold. Yeah, by clearing that straight away, it gave them all the information, but one of the problems here is G2 Esports can just stall out and wait. They can just sit back. They don't actually have to rush this. Now they're taking access over towards the yard position. They know there was at least two players in that lower bomb site because of the amount of smokes. And they're even forcing around towards top ladder. This is the next best piece of real estate they can have. Sure, lower would have been great. Lower was where the plan was. But if they get ladder control, they can just steamroll into the top site. Remember, this is the force bite from FaZe. Could cost them two rounds. Roll of Meister goes down with nothing. It looks great for G2. Brokey. He can still deny access here. The CZ is in a stronger position, but Kenny checks it, goes to the wall bank, and it works out for him. A lot of damage output, but ultimately a clean sweep still for G2. Five versus two, Cold Zero and Nico will have Deagles and armor, but they've got to save those. Got to give credit to G2 for the way they handled that. They brought so many SMGs in, which you often, you know, you see that against a, a force buy, you anticipate a fast hit and yeah. a quick round, but their first plan didn't work, and they were very comfortable given the, you know, having to opt for plan B and C. They didn't panic, and that's great news. You could see that FaZe Clan, after they had all the information, assumed it was just going to be the lower hit, but G2, with another option, are able to evade that. And FaZe weren't ready for that, right? If they were, they would have had an individual spotting out towards that section of the map with the Deagle, at least covering off towards the ladder base. They gambled, and they gambled incorrectly, but that's what happens on these force by situations. You need to take a few more risks. And it's good of G2 not to hunt for these Deagles. They don't need them. If they can avoid them in the same way that they did in the previous round, they'll be looking good. Bomb will go off. Round 10 will hit the board. Everybody will stay alive, even Hunter. Jack seeing if he can find any speculative shots there. He's heading over towards the ramp room. But this for G2 right now, you could go for whatever. You could do the yard smokes again, get control towards secret if you'd like. Go for a top rush, leaving the AK-47s and the back lines there to come through to clutch if things are a little bit messy. We'll just wait and see what FaZe have in store because they need to take the risk. They need to be the initiators in this scenario here if they want to have any chance before we head into the first gun round. Well, we are off then. We are going to see just the eco for FaZe. Couple of upgraded pistols with the safe deagles for Cold Zero and Eco. Two HE grenades, but uh, should be finding that 11th round at 4G2 momentarily. You never know, though. The Mac 10s could be overwhelmed. Hunter confirms that Secret is going to be clear. And he'll call for the backup now. Three players behind him. Look how wide their spacing is there. They, they had three individuals all crossing outside behind the smokes with extremely wide spacing. You love it because if there's any push, there's any flash, you're not going to get multi-killed. And uh, that is one of the keys there on the T side, making sure your spacing is good. 
Hunter will be calling. He hasn't checked the fence out yet. And Nico will be in that spot. He'll be dealt with by the MAC-10. Cold Zera, the second Deagle. He's towards ramp. He manages to take down Hunter here. So, a chance. But uh, looks like they're going back towards upper, to be honest with you. And uh, that could be a perfect call. No one there. Nope. And they can leave Kenny to keep these CTs busy. I don't want to lose his AK, though. And that's probably going to become a bit of a problem. They will find it. Brokey going to be very happy with his bounty for round 18. Bomb does go down and anything else the scavengers can find. It looks like a nice Mac 10 for cold. And poor old Reigns left just clutching onto his USP. They should maybe try and take away the AK out of Brokey's hands if they can. The two Mac 10s next round from Jackson Amanek would be good to use in a, in a faster piece, maybe a, a top site rush if they want. But take that AK away because you know that the buy from FaZe, it's going to be compromised. They get the Mac 10. It's just Brokey now. And they think better of going for this. Jax, he's low. 2 HP to his name here. They will post another round on the board. It will be through the bomb exploding once again. You can see here on the middle of the screen. That's all three rounds in a row right here for G2 that have been successful with the bomb detonating. So a little bit more money coming into the bank balance every single round. Not a not enough to really write home about. But Something to celebrate all the same. Yeah, sure. Give, give fist bump. Well, maybe don't fist bump at the moment. No. Um, you can say nice to each other. You can look at each other in the eyes. Yeah. That's pretty good. A lot of people uh, don't do that anymore. Now as you and I are having a staring competition. It's a fun game we can play as well as commentate, I guess. Well, I can't watch the screen if I'm looking into your eyes, No, that's Alex. true, but you haven't blinked first. No, so you haven't blinked yet either. Well, I've got to commentate, and so do you. Well, I'm the... The round uh, I looked away. Okay. Hey. Damn it, the round got me. Okay, back into the fray. Those SMGs on Amanek and Jax are going to have to do a whole lot. They're up against the full buy this time. It's a ramp pop. Okay, Olaf, what have you got for us? Perfect angle, perfect frag. He's clean out as well. Drops the incendiary, picture perfect ramp for now. But Hunter has got other plans. He's making things awkward for them. Cold deals with the first. He can hear the steps as well. This pivot from ramp is very clear. Very, very telegraphed. Door open, nades out, and Nico can't believe his luck. He's got three. Just the first two frags for him. And now just jacks the remainder. 51 points of health. Doesn't look like he's got too much more to contribute. But he is just going to play the waiting game, hoping that the CTs will try and take some of that space that's lying there for the taking. Has the bomb, so it could work on a plant here as one big part of success, but it, it's a difficult round. It's not, Jax is not known for winning clutches. It's not something that's really in his wheelhouse here. Damage on the agenda, sure, but the round win seems unlikely. Not ready for cold. Perfect off angle. And that will be the first defensive round for FaZe Clan since we started this half. It was an 8-7 half in favor of G2. FaZe get off to the starting mark. And it's no surprise that the impact player of their first round was Nico. Olof, though, did have a great deal of impact in stopping the ramp push, which ended up sending them all into Nico. Yeah, and Olof has been having a pretty rough time so far. Still only with five kills to his name here. So we need him to turn it around. Second highest raider, raider? Second highest rated player for FaZe Clan on Nuke in their 28 maps played on it, I do believe. So he's uh, at least historically someone who's able to put some damage down. Nico, another big name. He's towards the top of their stat lines. Unfortunately for him in this game, he only has 11 kills to his name. Once again, CT side is probably where he can do some of his better work. The opening frags being uh, carried across he's one and five at the moment so he's been involved in six opening duels only won the one which he's lost five and here oh my golly gosh <laughs> they're doing it i could not believe it if north push god sent with the coach jumpy standing into overtime on the t side of nuke what are we witnessing boys i i i, have a, uh. I hope they're dropping him a rifle poor old jumpy needed one anyway back into our game it's g2 and phase clan we're going into our 20th round and Different outside smokes from G2, or at least different lineups. We'll see. Looks like the same product. Oh, caught out by the Molotov in a very big way. It gets both of them. They'll throw one on the fly and get across all the same. Gaps and all. And that's the opening kill for Brokey as well. A little bit more aggressive towards the ramp this time. Our might team was theirs. Can they capitalize upon this advantage now? Five and four. Nico, once again, down towards lower. And he stopped them in their tracks. Smoke there for Amanek. Can't go any further. He's the only one down towards lower as Hunter explores the options towards Warehouse.
such a passive hold from FaZe Clan. They let them have all of this. Brokey just holds them at the door, quite literally. But that shot, they now are vulnerable on the top site, and Hunter's going to try and exploit it. Nico finding Amanek, though. Oh, he's actually made it up towards the top of the ladder here. This first kill will be very important. Hunter, with all the power right now, he's opening up the door for his teammates. They'll come out of squeaky, and that's the first couple of frags. Wow. That should be the round. It still is a three on three. Olaf Meister can deny this plan. That's the only chance they've got after heavily commit to this, and he doesn't get it in time. It actually leads to his death, but still gets one. Nico dropped as well. Nexus doing such great work in the last couple of maps here. Oh. Three more kills added into this round. That's actually four in total. Brings his total in towards, what have we got? 22, 22 yeah. and nine. Wow. <laughs> him and Jax are lighting it up. Last map it was him and Hunter. This time around is Nexa and Jax. Yeah, well, thanks to Hunter, Nexa got a chance to find all these kills. That flank, you could see the, the, the reaction from the CTs. It wasn't necessarily bad. They were acknowledged his presence, tried to deal with its teammates coming out of Squeaky, but the, the shots were hit by Nexa. Sensational. So just the eco here, boys, phase. With their backs to the wall. P250, some Deagles, a CZ, and Amanek once again using that Mac 10 very efficiently. Quickly gets down towards Secret. Perfect flashbang lands on the front door of Nico. That's a main entrance. They've got the bomb down there towards lower as well, looking for 13 8 on their T side. In terms of loss bonus, there'll be $2,900 coming for phase next round. That's if they can't win this one, of course. There's always a chance. Maybe not so much now. Down towards lower. First kill. Jack will get it. Second will be Amanek. And that should be enough. That was their two tests, and well, not quite enough from Olaf and Brokey this time around. And the bomb will be planted. A gathering of what little remains for FaZe towards the ramp position. Just a quick little B stream update. If you were keeping up to date with what was going on with the North versus Godsent game that we just dived on into, well, it looked like North could have potentially taken them to overtime on the third and final map for the evening. Not to be. That one was finished. Godsent will pick it up two to one, and that means they get uh, 100 more RMR points than North. And that's all in the road to Rio, the major which has been rescheduled and postponed to November 22nd, if I've been uh, jotting down my dates correctly. I won't lie, I haven't actually updated my calendar officially yet. I'm still living in this state of where we would be starting the legend stage in oh. Rio right now today. Why have you done that to me? Well, I like to break hearts. Yeah, oh. we'd be in Rio right now, living the high oh, life. Oh man, the carnival, the, the legend fresh stage fruit, is the green good room, too. the hotel. Oh, I don't miss that. The venue, the wow, travel. that would be a lot of fun and uh, we wouldn't have nearly as much Counter-Strike as we do right now on the road That's to That's true. We, we, we so, wouldn't. if anything, we might have a better deal right now. Yeah, if anything, we are getting to hang out all in one place together and talk about our favorite video game all the same. With a lot of Counter-Strike closely contested, and hopefully we'll see FaZe bring themselves back to life. A huge round. G2 sending it towards up, but the MAC-10 is closing oh. the gap right now, and he'll get the first. Is there a trade? Of course there is. Nexa. On his heels, and we'll not see Brokey. He might have to call it already. He's only got the orb Surely terabytes. not. They have to start fighting for some of these. Uh, I think they're giving it up. Whenever we cast phase losses, it's always those two quick frags, and then we sit there and watch Brokey plus two save. And unfortunately, yeah, it's the same situation here. They just bust into the top site. The trades aren't particularly uh, unfavorable for the G2 side. Amanek charging in, taking all of that. From squeaky okay. to silo. God said have closed it out against North. Just yeah, knows yeah, that. yeah, I, I think. Covered up? Yeah. Oh, it's all right. Okay. It's all right. We, we still got there. But I want to cover the buys that we're going to see in the following round because 3,400 is the loss bonus. So 3,400 as the loss bonus going forward means that if Brokey saves this, are they going to let him do it? Are they going to chase it down? Are they going to, are they going to push? I think they're going to let him have it. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Makes it. Okay, so basically the point here is there's not enough money for FaZe Clan to get a proper buy. They have to drop weapons across and hope that they can get something that looks at least slightly respectable here. The AWP is good, the saved rifle is good, the armor is great, but there'll be a lack of utility. And uh, no, there's not. Apparently they can make these buys happen now. Now bear in mind, G2 look in a fantastic position to close out this third map. And that would stem from that second map of Dust2. Well, the first map, I should say. Everything looks like falling apart. Yeah. The underfused bomb. All those blunders, and now they could actually come back and win this series. It would show a great amount of tenacity and mental fortitude. But they still have to find round number 15. Very difficult to do against FaZe on a map like Nuke on the T side as well. Managed to use the momentum of that Mac 10 to find them a couple of rounds towards upper. Much slower rounds this time, more methodical. Could it be sending out those outside smokes momentarily? 
Looking for series point here. FaZe have a lot of work to do. They put down the incendiary again. What perfect timing. Who is this? Someone has switched on. The smokes will land all the same. And then you can underhand one, but they can call it clear. No one is crossing. Lobby's a threat. And you can see that the CTs are absolutely prepared for this this time. If that door swings open, Jax is a dead man. Oh, the smoke timing. It's so good. There's a flash there as well oh. as they open the door. That good call, though, from G2. You know, it's trying to cancel approaches there. They wanted to get down towards Squeaky, but that smoke way too powerful. It'd be a death sentence. So maybe towards outside now. We've got one player towards main roof. That's Kenny S. Joined by Amadek, jumping up towards Silo. Low on time here. Where do they finish up? It's pretty nerve-wracking stuff, and that's the bomb. Could have been two. Jax hits the shot to keep G2's dreams around here, but they won't have time to check Cold Zera. And now dropping into the low site. Perhaps there's something to be said here. Amanek's gone down, but so has Hunter. Bomb. Quite literally. He plans to plant. Bomb will join. And now a two versus one. If he can find Olaf cleanly, he's trying to close the gap, and he's going to get caught on the left peak. Now retreating. Where is the other one? Closing down the gap. It will be Olaf and Cold. Can you plant back bomb? He certainly did, and Cold can no hold it here, but no kit. Hunter can start to approach him. Oh my god, not a 10 second ninja. Hunter might call it clear. He's gonna check it. A one versus two. A Damn. two versus four. They get it across the line. They find 15. That's spectacular. Hunter, he was talking about his frame of mind and how he gets into his own head against his cousin. Well, he gets into his cousin's head now. Well, there oh. we have it. I just saw Amanek by a scout. Yeah, I saw that too. He had to throw it away, right? Yeah, and, and look, they have 15, but that's not 16. So let's make sure that we're not accidentally buying guns here that we can't take back. He's going to carry the MAC-10 as well as the Tech 9 into the round. They're doing a fast. They're doing a top hit. This is... This could be a problem. It could. Nico doesn't seem to think so. Where did their health just go? The spray, the nades, it's all perfect. Brokey must have got some high HE damage. He gets an assist. Damn, they just evaporated. If you just came back from grabbing a drink, another round has happened, and here's the replay. This is the entire round in one replay. Yeah, just a big old spray down here. G2 trying to pick up the pace. You can see 1 minute 40 on the clock, and the round is cooled. So, uh, yeah, as quick as it probably can be at this stage. Looking for double digits, phase. They will actually have the advantage now. You can see the money starting to be whittled down. G2 went up all the grenades. Getting to that point now. They will have one more buy available with Hunter's money. And the loss run is starting to rack up here. They'll get 1,900. Oh, big gaps. He's done it rounds. again. Big gaps, big gaps. Do it on the fly is good, though, and so is that nade. Boom! Oh. Amanek and Hunter going to be catching some of Nico's wrath. No one's gone down. For our audio-only listeners, I realize that could have been misconstrued instead. Yes, five versus five. This is a good crossfire they've set up already with Brokey and Rain. So they're well aware that this is the lower bomb site progression. Nico gets one and this is it. Great monitor from Brokey. Actually kills Hunter. Damn. And now Brokey's gonna do all of the good work. Double kill. His Molotov got the third. And the round's over. Next are on top side. Maybe can find Cold Zera, but it's not gonna happen. Definitely not. It's gonna be a very convincing round there. FaZe will have a lot of AK-47s, a ton of money. And 10 rounds to their name. Just five required now tickets to overtime. Sounds like a daunting process, but on the CT side of Nuke, probably the best arena for it. His broken with a double kill, the AK-47 towards the decon doors. Times it to perfection. Mows them down, and we'll have one more buy, as mentioned here, for G2. They haven't gone for it. It's going to go for a hero AK in the hands of Hunter. He invests 3,700. Uh, next game for the Beagle Armor should be another one for FaZe. But you never know. Hunter has been playing fantastically well in this best of three. Long old game, this one. Third and final map, round number 26. In close games as well as G2 get ready towards ramp. Lucky to avoid that grenade. Uh, you know, Hank, FaZe yeah. sometimes lose to Deagles. Sometimes. It has yeah. been known to happen. It has been somewhat of a issue for them. This is the same kind of circumstance, the hero rifle. Ramp is theirs. Deep smoke as well from G2. That's denied all of the information. Certainly can't plant there, though, and the CTs have got plenty of space to relocate and push for the information they don't have, but can acquire safely. 
this this here would require Hunter to go like aimbot mode, right? The, the, the fact of the matter is if you look at the grenades on the phase clan side of things and the setup that they've already gone for, they've turtled up. They know where the gaps are. They know where the problems are. It's about coming down to the jewels right now. And both these teams are extremely stacked when it comes to firepower, but one team has the clear weapon advantage right now. And with that in mind, with the fact that the element of surprise is taken out of the equation, FaZe should lock this down. Yeah, shouldn't be a problem for them. It's looking pretty interesting for G2 with the ramp control, but with no smokes, nothing like that, even the ding towards Brokey, that's not really anything to do with this lower interaction. Can they get the first kill? Apparently not. Nico with that AK looks for a second. Hunter's teammates were really making it difficult for him to try and find that line. Brokey walking around the smoke, could be set to collect onto Amanek, but he doesn't want to lose that AWP, and he won't, thanks to Rain. Shuts him down, just the one. If Nixa can get a plan out of all of this, he opts not to. Knows Olof wants to close that gap, goes for the frag instead. It's all in vain, 15 to 11. Is this where G2 can close things out? Here's the comparison of Coldzera and Jax. You can see Jax spinning in a great shift here. Top fragging on the server so far, 26 kills to his name. Nexa, amazing form. On that second map, we see him continue it here with 24 kills as well. At the very top of phase will be Nico, as you expect, with 18 frags. Olaf Meister down there with 8 and 18. Could be the final round. Time will tell. 15-11 as G2 decide what kind of buy they want to bring forward. Do they want to bring out the AWP? I doubt it. Kenny doesn't really use it on the T side of Nuke too often. Happy to operate with the rifle. As we get into another very important round here for phase. Tournament life on the line in this lower bracket final. Tournament life undefeated for so long as well on their road to Rio. And the round robin groups, they didn't drop. Seven and zero now in the lower bracket final. FaZe Clan could play their final round of the road to Rio. G2, one round from playing Astralis tomorrow. That's all it takes. Five frags. But so far, FaZe have managed to pass the first test. Four more where that came from. Outside smokes. Every time they line it up, Nico seems to have enough of a cue to drop his incendiary. I wonder if he's going to... Judging by his position, he plans to catch them by surprise, hoping that they do, in fact, follow those smokes. So, G2 slowing it right down here. Initial smoke will be thrown. These two will be successful as well. No incendiary to block them. It's Nico. There's been a thorn in the G2 side. Time and time again towards the secret position. He is very committed. Smoke towards heaven by looks of things. Kenny S will get ready to deploy up. One round to knock phase out of the tournament here. Could this be it? Certainly a possibility. Oh, Nico trying to help inside, but there's two on that red container. He's just completely neglected it. And from behind, they will strike. Reigns lingering in that smoke. He's pushed aggressive. Oh, and Nex has caught another one. Phase, they're running out of players. Thankfully, the Norwegians clawed one back. And we've got three down towards lower here. G2 have done a great job. Kenny has to defend the vents. They've got a safe plan, protected from ramp, and that's the only position of attack uh -oh. that Olaf can find. Four versus three. Brokey and Rain are low. This should be it. G2 have got everything they could ask for. Yep, they're set up for success. The grand final, they can feel it. They can almost touch it. There's only three more to find for G2. Hunter will go about finding the first. Brokey closing the gap. It's the final frag. He does survive. And he is quite the clutch master, but I think this one's way too tall of an order. Kenny spots him.